and since I've achieved all my goals as president in one term, there was no need for a second. The end. Hmm. Good memoirs. Good, not great. Now, let's look at that old outboard. Soup that baby up, rattle a few windows down in Kennebunkport next May. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bush. What you doing? Now, don't upset the desk there. Careful, don't want to horse around hey, with... Hey, cool, what does this do? Now, don't you pull that cord, young man. No, oh, no. Oops. Hey, bar, my motor's gone loco. Oh, the birdhouse. Yeah, my prize orchid. No, not the memoirs. Don't even think about it. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna do something your daddy should have done a long time. Go. Now go home and think about what you've done, young man. For the last time, Bush, apologize for spanking my boy. Never. You make him apologize for destroying my memoirs. You didn't tell me you destroyed his memoirs. Never! Ah! can be so stubborn when he thinks he's right. Well, Homer, too. They're so much alike. Too bad they got off on the wrong foot. It's just like the Noriega thing. Now he and George are the best of friends. <laughs> Here's a little something we learned in CIA. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'll ruin you like a Japanese banquet. I'll take your head and... Gorbachev, <laughs> what, what are you doing here? I just dropped by with present for warming of house. Instead, find you grappling with local off. Oh, brought some of your commie friends to help you fight dirty, eh? But Mikhail, they put a wig on my head. My memoir is... George! This is the last straw. You apologize to Homer right now. But, Bar, we can't show any weakness in front of the Russians. George. Okay. I'm sorry I spanked your boy, Homer. Woohoo! In your face, Bush! Now apologize for the tax hike. 